Okay, here we go. I don't know that I would call this a tutorial by any stretch of the imagination. This is just how I'm going to spud together a uh, uh, cheap and dirty, cheap and dirty uh, little cold frame. So I have, I have some exterior doors. Uh, so this would have been going into somebody's kitchen, you know, let's say from the deck. And they wanted to change their doors out. So I was like, sure, no problem. So we can do that. And uh, whatever. I was like, what are you doing with the doors? Oh, nothing. Could you do something with them? I probably could in a year or two. Yeah, sure. So I've had those sitting in storage. And then uh, to try to force myself to get on this and not uh, procrastinate any longer on the project, I uh, took them out of storage and put them uh, outside of my garage there in the back. And uh, we're going to get started here. I cut the sides out of three-quarter inch uh, plywood that I actually still had underneath the deck. I'll just show you here real quick. This is, I know it's a mess, but, you know, if you're, I mean, I certainly don't consider myself a homesteader by any stretch of the imagination, but, you know, I mean, like, there's always building material and, and, and wood products and stuff that you don't need it right now, but at the end of the day, it is something that you could use, right? I mean, so I got my teepee poles, I got four by fours for building up my water collection system, the extra barrels, the IBC units, I've got two by sixes, two by fours, one by sixes, deck boards. Good morning, Toby. I should bring out a treat and then he's really quiet. But anyway, so I, like, what I'm trying to do is, I wanna get this cleaned up because I mean, we're gonna be setting up the teepee this, uh, this fall or winter. And uh, I'd like to get this, you know, sort of, not, not really cleaned up, but like, I've got some projects to do. So, um, again, just trying to use up as much of that stuff as I possibly can. I just set up this first box at a 45, which, you know, I don't know that that's 100% necessary from all the research that I've done after the fact, which is totally Ryan style. Get an idea, get excited, get rammy, and then... Uh, Go do some research and figure out what you did wrong. <laughs> Moron. Anyways, um, pretty simple. I mean, the doors, whatever, 31 and three quarters, almost 32, right? I just sputted these boards in just, just so that I could put this on last night um, and sent a picture to one of my YouTube buddies. And uh, she's curious, Emma from Misfit Gardening. You're awesome. Uh, you know, oh, you're going to do a video. Well, if you want me to, sure. I mean, so again, this was just cut with a circular saw. Um, and this was stuff that I had, you know, just lying around. I mean, if you had some 3-8 stuff, you know, if you wanted to, I mean, you could you could glue that together. But I mean, for something like an exterior door like that, I think I think something a little bit uh, with a little more constitution than, uh, than the thin stuff. Um, I'm going to, I've got the table saw here. Um, I'm going to take this bottom board off and I'm going to 45 this edge so that it's the same as the side, right? So that'll come up a little bit more and the door will sit nice and flat on that. And I'm going to do the same with the top. And then essentially after that, it's just add another board, add another board, add another board, you know, use the table saw and rip the last one. And uh, yeah, I think the, the one side of this door is white and the other side is black. So what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to turn these hinges around so that the white side is in and hopefully will reflect any kind of light and the black side will be on the outside to uh, help collect heat through the Arctic winter. So that's the game plan. Anyway, uh, we'll check back in. I don't think I'm going to set my camera up so you can watch me run a few boards through a table saw, but I will check back with you and we'll see, uh, we'll see, how, this thing, uh, we'll see how this thing looks. Thank you. Here we go. So got this sort of piece together. So I took these apart, put 45s on them. I took these off, 45 those, made that one a little bit longer. <laughs> Obviously didn't make that one long enough. This is all gonna be dirt up to about here, soil rather, so it doesn't overly matter. Um, obviously I must have mismeasured a wee little bit because the door has a little bit of a gap. So I just added this piece here and I plan on putting like a little bit of weather stripping just to try and keep any drafts out, but uh, uh, here, give me a second, I'll throw this door on and uh, we'll see what she looks like. Uh, alrighty, here we go. So, that is officially a heavy door. 
two panes of glass and metal. Goodness. So I think one more modification. I'm going to see if I can take that handle off because it's just, just catching on that piece that I put in there. But I mean, I think, I think you get the idea. Pretty simple. I'll, I'll keep playing around with this and uh, I'll get the screws put in the back. And then uh, probably just detach them from the door. And then uh, whatever, this is ready to go up front. I'm thinking that this is going to go where those uh, Jerusalem artichokes have been kind of taken over the last couple of years. I'm going to dig that out, area out completely. I'll sift it and make sure there's no more. And uh, I've got some lettuce and some beets already started. I want to get some spinach in. And uh, I'm going to get some stuff in when the weather's still decent. So this is a chance to just get started because I'm hoping that this will let me grow until you know late October into November. That'd be a Christmas miracle. All right, see ya.